You know, everyone around the world is searching for happiness. They're trying to find pleasure. I mean, this is the one thing that every human being shares and has in common, is that we want to be happy. We want to experience pleasure and genuine joy in life. I'm going to tell you something today in this video that is going to set you free from the pursuit or the searching, the longing for this pleasure. Come here, I want to tell you. A little bit closer. You are pleasure incarnated. You are the embodiment itself of the thing that you've been searching for, of the joy, the happiness, the pleasure that you've been searching for. You are the thing you've been looking for. And it's this realization that sets you free from the search. Obviously, once you've discovered or found the thing you're looking for, you stop searching. The mystery has been solved. You are the embodiment of pleasure. You are pleasure itself embodied in a form. Incarnated, the word made flesh. This is what you are. And it's this realization that brings with an unspeakable ecstasy. It's this realization that absolutely transformed my existence. It took me from a, an existence where I was in constant pursuit, looking to a God outside of myself, to living in 24-7 habitation, continual joy, perpetual bliss, absolute love, and ecstasy beyond imagination. This is what I call the high life. Now, how did this happen? You see, I was searching for it in religion. A lot of people do that. Christians search for it in the God of the Bible. They think is Jesus Christ. They search the Bible to find life. Jesus himself said to the Pharisees, you search the scriptures because in them you think you can find life. And yet here it is, life himself is standing before you and you can't acknowledge me. This is what Christianity is all about. It's about pursuing the Christ of the Bible, all the while ignoring the Christ within. Because we're searching for it, blindly searching for it, groping for it outside of ourselves. Thinking in philosophical and theological terms that God might be outside of us. Dude. I did it for years. I did it for the vast majority of my life. If you're a Christian here watching this video, it's all good, man. There's nothing wrong with the word Christian. But I want to tell you right now, I'm here to set you free from Christianity so that you can actually find Christ, man. I want to set you free from the bondage of looking for God, looking for pleasure, looking for joy, looking for satisfaction outside of yourself. You don't have to look any longer. Everything that you've been looking for is what you are. You know, a lot of people say, look within, and I use that term, look within. But I'm here to tell you that you, what you truly, genuinely, authentically are, is the pleasure that the believed self has been looking for. The ego has been looking for what you really are. This is the reason why Jesus himself came. Jesus has been mentoring me since I was a young child. This is the reason why he came. He came to reveal the Christ in all of us, as he is, so are we in this world. He came to reveal your innate perfection, your divinity. When you've seen the Father, you've seen me. When you've seen the Father, you've seen me. When you've seen me, you've seen the Father. The Father and I are one. He came to reveal your perfect oneness and union with all things. He came to reveal that you are pleasure incarnate, that you are the Word made flesh. If you've been looking for for high in drugs and alcohol and sex, I've got great news for you. All that stuff can be fun, but i got news for you. In the discovery, in the realization that you are the embodiment of pleasure, all of that stuff vanishes, and for the first time in your life, you can actually enjoy the world around you because you're no longer groping through the world looking for the thing that you are. 
And this realization doesn't come in a form of a concept. You might be listening to me right now, you might be trying to conceptualize what I'm saying, but it doesn't come in the form of a concept. You will never be set free by a concept. You need to hear this. This is the reason why Jesus also said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father. In other words, you can't acknowledge your original divine father nature, mother nature, until you've realized the Christ nature. And it's this, it's this truth, this heavy, weighty truth that sets you free. This is the reason. Again, Jesus said the truth will set you free. Not the Bible. The Bible doesn't set you free. Not what I'm not what I'm saying. Because you can conceptualize what I'm saying. The truth is what you are. And this can never be conceptualized. So freedom doesn't come in the form of a concept. It comes in the falling away of concepts. As all the concepts, all the things that you've thought of yourself fade away, fall away, then what you really are, who you really are, begins to rise in manifestation. <laughs>